Today I want to show you how to get started with Power BI and create your own dashboard from nothing but an Excel file. So first up, we need to get the data. It just so happens that we're using the sample data set within Power BI for this, but we want to practice getting the data ourselves. Click Get Data, Excel, and open the file that you've just downloaded. At this point, you should see this navigator window, which lets us preview our data. Let's select the financials table. If you're happy with the data, click Load. Now we have this Power Query Editor window, which allows us to make changes to our data before creating any visuals. You'll see that the unit sold column contains some decimal values, which isn't correct. We can select the unit sold column, then on the data type drop down, select whole number. This will remove all of the decimal places from our values. Select the transform tab, then on the format drop down, choose uppercase. This will change all our values to be in capitals. The column month name would be better just being the word month. Let's double click the name to edit it, remove the word name, and press enter to save the change. Then let's click the Home tab, then click Close and Apply to save our changes and leave this. And we'll start by adding a title. Click Insert, then Text Box to add one. Let's call this Executive Summary Finance Report. Make it size 20, make it bold, and then resize the box so that all of the title fits on one line. Next, let's create a line chart to show profits by month and year. Drag the Profit column onto the canvas. Power BI will see that it's a numerical column and create a bar chart for you. Let's also drag the date column onto that same visual. You'll see that the profit is now split by year. On the axis view, let's remove quarter and day. To also show month, we need to click the expand one level button in the top right of the visual. Now this X axis doesn't look great with the values crushed together. So on the right hand side, click the roller icon. Then under X axis, Deselect Concatenate Labels. In the Visuals pane, we want to click the Line Chart icon to turn this into a line chart. Now let's also move this visual to a more suitable area on the canvas. Let's create a map showing which countries are performing best. If we take the Country column, Power BI recognises that this contains country values and will create a map for us. If we then drag Profit onto that map, We'll get bubbles that are bigger for higher profit values, which is perfect for us. Click a blank area of the canvas so that no visual is selected. Then select the Sales, Product and Segment fields. Because we've selected two dimension columns, Power BI has automatically created a clustered column chart. We now want to create a slicer so that we can filter the report by year and month. Drag the date column into the space that we made on the left hand side. Then select the slicer visual. As before, let's remove quarter and day. Then expand the years and resize the slicer. This allows us to now filter the report by any month of our choosing or indeed any year of our choosing. We'll see that the dashboard automatically updates whenever we select anything on here. 